Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, so guys, we're going to go ahead and start with some channel messages. I used to do this a very long time ago when I first started Tarot of Light. Um, people have always asked me why I don't continue doing it, so let's just go ahead and do it. Um, <clears throat> mind you, these messages may or may not resonate with the reading. They may resonate with only one person. I don't know. You know, take it as it resonates, okay? So, Taurus, this could be you. This could be your person. Again, take it as it resonates. I feel like there is an apology coming in, or at least someone here wants to talk. And mind you, Taurus, this could be a love relationship, a friend, a family member, you know, someone here wants to talk. They want to apologize, okay? Um, I feel some very serious decisions need to be made here because what's happening is the person that was hurt now, um, you know, has a very difficult decision ahead of them that needs to be made. I feel like somebody here is willing to, you know, maybe go to counseling or sit down and have a friend or a family member get involved and really take this deep look on what is causing the problems in the relationship between you guys. The problem is I don't think that this person truly understands um, the extent of what that means. Um, I feel like someone here, you know, I saw the, uh, the King of Swords in the reverse when I was channeling. Um, um, so that would be an energy of someone very controlling, very violent, very abusive, possibly narcissistic. Um, this is somebody that is very intelligent, has a very keen understanding of the human psyche and how it works, and they understand how to manipulate that in the people around them. So I feel like someone here is truly sorrowful, is truly, you know, wanting to fix a situation. Um, but I feel like the person that is hurt is not going to allow this to come back together until someone truly takes a look at themselves and, you know, um, makes that decision to fix the problem. And I feel like this person is willing, but I feel like they may be a little surprised when the time comes as to you know, the issues that are found, okay? So let's go ahead and see what we have for the reading. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Tauruses, please. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Taurus, please. Tell me about Taurus, please. All right, I'm going to take these. The Hanged Man and the Seven of Cups, okay? These cards are a little shiny, so I hope the glare doesn't. Um, so we've got Piscean Energy, the Hanged Man and the Seven of Cups. Tell me about Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have Temperance, Sagittarian Energy. Give me one more on Taurus, please. And we've got the Eight of Wands. Okay. Under the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. So Taurus, this could be your side. This could be your person's side. Take it as it resonates, okay? So I feel here that with the Seven of Cups and the Hanged Man, so the Hanged Man is an indication of sacrificing, suffering, not living in comfort, and waiting to find that enlightenment. The Seven of Cups can talk about confusion. It can talk about chaos. It can talk about, you know, multiple people, family members, friends, romantic options. It can also talk about... Um, you know, it could also talk about, in some cases, um, you know, emotional, you know what I'm saying? Emotional chaos, emo wreaking emotional havoc. Um, with certain cards, it can be an indication of, you know, going mentally crazy, you know what I'm saying? Causing that type of mental, you know, craziness, okay? With Temperance and the Wheel of Fortune, though, I do feel that the Divine is getting involved here, Taurus, because the Wheel of Fortune, when someone is unhappy in a relationship here, when someone's unhappy about something and they manifest or they pray about something, when the Wheel of Fortune comes into the picture, it creates massive upheaval. And that's kind of what I'm feeling here, Taurus. With the Hangman and the Seven of Cups, I'm kind of getting, you know, all the crap is hitting the fan now. Someone here is having an awakening and enlightenment, um, you know, because that, that upheaval is that seven of cups, that emotional upheaval. 
with temperance and the eight of wands again temperance talks about patience it talks about um you know it speaks on hot and cold ice and fire it talks about looking on your shadow side and your light side it talks about healing yourself going within um and with that eight of wands it, it, that's forward movement that's communication being passionate about wanting to heal yourself in the situation we have the nine of swords under the deck so i feel here taurus that this could be the side of the person that's being hurt or it could actually be the side of the person that is hurting um this may be somebody here that's coming to a realization that you know um that they're having a lot of fear they're having a lot of anxiety someone here may be starting to realize that they really have a you know an issue that needs to be healed or it could be the side of the person being hurt coming to terms with the fact that something here needs to be done okay but either way there's upheaval here there's you know what i'm saying um uh, uh, the problem is surfacing okay the problem in this connection is surfacing um ooh, okay let's see here tell me about the seven of cups for taurus please the seven of cups for yeah see we got the tower the tower so the tower is an indication taurus that someone here is continuously trying to build something relationships or whatever the case may be but there's there's an underlying problem there's a crack in the foundation multiple cracks in the foundation and i feel like it could be confusion chaos it could be extended family members it could be extended friends it could be someone here that you know feels the need to flirt with multiple people there can be multiple reasons here you know for that seven of cups and i'm sure for every person it's going to vary okay but the tower keeps falling because of this seven of cups issue okay um tell me about the hanged man please we've got the knight of swords in the reverse i feel here uh, and there's the the wheel of fortune again guys okay so taurus i feel aquarius gemini libra energy by the way i feel like someone here is coming to a screeching halt okay the knight of swords in the reverse can represent one of two things someone who's causing a lot of drama or someone here that's completely come to a full stop depending on the cards around it and i feel here that with the hanged man and the knight of swords in the reverse someone here is coming from to a full stop because they're seeing themselves they're seeing the problem they're seeing the situation and that's where that wheel of fortune comes in twice guys because it's digging deep to the core of the problem it's going into that tower and digging deep into the tower and pulling up the cracks of that foundation tell me about temperance please we've got the ten of swords something here has caused a tremendous amount of pain now this could be betrayal it could be lying it could be cheating someone here has been hurt to the point that you know we've reached a ten completion i've had it and that was that feeling that we picked up when i was channeling of you know, I don't know if I want to let you in again, or, you know, if I do let you in again, or before I let you in again, there has to be some serious work here. We have to go talk to somebody or, you know, friends or family. Someone here has to mediate. We need to figure out what the problem is, or I cannot continue this connection with you, okay? Because someone here has been hurt to the point of, you know, I can't do it anymore. Now, with the moon card here, um, this could be you know secrets this could be the unknown this could be that there is something here that hasn't been realized or acknowledged either on this person's part or on both parties okay there's an underlying issue here that maybe everyone is not aware of um we've got the death card underneath that scorpionic energy there needs to be some serious serious changes in this connection if it's going to move forward tell me about the wheel of fortune and we've got the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Um, so Taurus, I feel that someone here is coming in with an apology. Seven of Swords under the deck. This person may have been deceptive, taking advantage, lying about how serious a situation is, um, cheating in one way or another. Uh, very sneaky behavior here. Very sneaky behavior. And with the High Priestess and the Nine of Cups, there ha may have been... so. 
with the the high priestess here in a love reading if we're speaking on a man this could be a woman that he is very much infatuated with that he can't have okay um or this could be an issue where if we're talking about a woman this is a woman that's very promiscuous in a love reading somebody that you know possibly um you know gets a lot of attention from the opposite sex so i feel here that you know someone here is realizing that that's a problem someone here may realize like if they're in a relationship relationship and they can't be with other women um that's very difficult for them because now they're in a relationship and you know all other women are off the table and because they can't have those other women it's overwhelming for them do you see what i'm saying they become infatuated immediately with other women um if this is a woman that you know gets a lot of attention from the opposite sex it may be difficult for this person to be committed because they have so many options do you see what i'm saying Saying. Um, but with the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups following it, I feel like this person does want, um, you know, a fulfilling, an emotionally fulfilling relationship. But the secret here is, is that somebody here, you know, has an underlining issue here, whether it's, you know, with multiple partners or, you know, the high priestess could just also represent secrets. Someone here did not talk about this problem or this issue. Someone here did not, you know, they lied about how serious an issue was, okay? Um, so let's see here. Tell me about the eight of wands here for Taurus. We've got the seven of cups and the four of pentacles. Okay. I feel like someone here, um, <clears throat> again, they want to move forward. They're very passionate about communicating. What do they want to talk about? With the Four of Pentacles, this could be an energy of greed. It could be an energy of selfishness. It could be an energy of not wanting to let go of something. Or it could also be an energy of, you know, them wanting to talk about everything that has been going on inside of them that they've been keeping to themselves for a very long time. With the Seven of Wands and the Knight of Wands under the deck, um, I feel here that, again, we're dealing with somebody that has an underlying issue. This could be somebody that likes to go around and talk bad behind your back. It could be somebody that likes to go out and flirt with multiple people. It could be somebody that, you know what I'm saying, um, just likes to cause chaos and confusion and hurt somebody uh, for no reason at all. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this is something that this person does want to come in and talk about. Okay, they do. See, with the strength card and the hierophant here and the five of cups, someone here is realizing that there is, in fact, a problem and with that strength card they need to learn how to control themselves they need to learn how to use their higher judgment to refrain from doing whatever it is that's harming the connection i feel like with the five of cups this person is genuinely you know sorry and remorseful for what they're doing and again they're doing this because with the hierophant here number one the divine is getting involved or number two this person does truly you know want higher levels of commitment in their life okay hierophant we've got taurus energy there okay so let's go ahead and see what we have on the other side taurus clarity guidance love messages for my taurus please clarity guidance love messages for my taurus please okay so let's take this and put this over here all right so we have the queen of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy we have the nine of swords we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. We have the Ace of Wands. And we have the Tower. Under the deck, we have the Five of Swords. Okay, a lot of swords on this side, guys. Okay, a lot of swords. So here we have the Queen of Pentacles. Now, Taurus, this could be you. This could be your person. There is one person here that is very stable, calm, committed, responsible, you know what I'm saying? This person is very loyal to the connection. This person may be supporting the connection financially. They may be the breadwinner, doesn't have to be. But this is someone very responsible, loyal, stable, grounded, okay? Um, and with the Nine of Swords here, I feel like this is the person that's being hurt. This person may be having nightmares, trouble sleeping, sleeping a lot, falling into depression, um, continuous thoughts going on in their head, overthinking. With the Ten of Swords and the 
reverse and the ace of wands i feel like this person um is the person see how we see the ten of swords here and we see the ten of swords here this is the person that has been hurt tremendously with the ten of swords in the reverse number one they they just cannot take one more hit this person cannot be hurt anymore and with the ten of swords in the reverse this is also an indication that this person does want to put this behind them with the ace of wands and the tower i feel like this person would love to try to make this work they would love to have a new beginning you know what i'm saying but at the same time with the tower they are scared of it happening all over again five of swords talks about sabotage it talks about empty victories it talks about you know what i'm saying somebody that can have a very ugly attitude all right and you know i feel that maybe this five of swords behavior is what's causing this tower to fall and this person i feel has fear that it's just going to happen all over again okay because you know the queen of pentacles is one of the most stable i mean i mean to the point of like the queen of pentacles may even be considered boring this is somebody that just focus on work making money focuses on their family very nurturing very kind but very stable this is someone who'll have like the same routine every day and does the same thing every day you know and if they're with someone who likes to sabotage and cause chaos and destruction it's two very separate and opposite energies do you understand so that's why the queen of pentacles here is pretty much on their last nerve all right tell me about this queen of pentacles for taurus please we've got the seven of swords um tell me about the nine of swords here for the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy i feel like this queen of pentacles is feeling like they're being robbed of their stability they're being robbed of their peace and with the nine of swords and the queen of cups i feel like someone here feels like they are in emotional chaos all the time emotionally this person is suffering their money might be suffering from this their stability might be suffering from this um so this person is perhaps starting to feel like their life is being stolen from them okay um with the three of wands the five of cups and the ace of cups this person may be starting to realize that you know uh, They've suffered so much disappointment that, you know, even though they feel bad and guilty, they may be starting to feel like there's just something better out there with the Ace of Cups. Six of Swords, they may just be starting to feel like, listen, this is just too crazy and toxic. It's time to me to, for me to move on to someone who can love me better. So we're dealing with someone here that put a tremendous amount of love and commitment and time and attention into a situation, but they're just being taken advantage of. And this person is honestly starting to feel like it might be time to move on tell me about the ten of swords in the reverse we've got the king of wands leo sag aries energy tell me about the ace of wands here we've got the six of cups okay so taurus there is an x in the picture here there may be an x in the picture here um you know we have to be careful someone here may be starting communication with someone from the past possibly let's see here tell me more about the six of cups here and the ace of swords um i feel like the problem that we're having here taurus is that this person may be comparing this situation to a past person there may be realizations here so it's kind of like an energy of wow i left my ex thinking that was bad but this is like mind-blowingly bad so i'm just going to go back and you know what i'm saying like that's the type of energy that i'm feeling here tell me about the tower here for cancer for not for cancer excuse me for taurus we've got the tower and the um the star card aquarian energy so taurus what i'm feeling here is that someone has suffered one too many towers someone here has just been hurt too much we've got the ten of swords we've got the tower we've got the five of swords too much sabotage too much pain too much betrayal just too much okay so and you know the problem that we're having here is that either there's an ex that's watching this or knows about this or someone here may be going back to tell their ex you know i'm sorry that you know i left you because i, I jumped into something that was really bad right so and I feel like with the star card here, the star, the star card talks about healing, hope, recovery. So I feel like someone here may be actually going back to the ex for healing because they're in so much pain. So let's see here. Tell me about, 
tell me about the challenge here for Taurus. The challenge for Taurus. Okay, we've got the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. We have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. And we have the Seven of Swords with the Fool, Aries energy. So the challenge here is Taurus that with the Knight of Wands in the reverse and the Seven of Swords and the King of Swords. Um, remember I told you I was channeling and I saw the King of Swords in the reverse. Someone here needs to um, switch that around. Someone here needs to go for from the king of swords in the reverse to the king of the swords in the upright someone here needs to be honest with themselves they need to realize with that with the knight of wands in the reverse this reckless behavior of doing whatever they want to do the knight of wands in the upright you know gets a bad rap sometimes the knight of wands in the upright is known as the player the partier I get that, but the Knight of Wands in the upright is just someone who is young, living their life, just pursuing whatever they want. The Knight of Wands sees something shiny, they want to go touch it, they go touch it. But, you know, if you're looking for a serious relationship, that needs to stop. With the Seven of Swords here, the lies, the cheating, the deception, you know, all of that stuff needs to stop. And someone here needs to step up to the plate with this King of Swords energy, be true and honest with themselves, and if they want to protect this connection, this is what needs to be done. We've got the fool and the hermit with the six of wands. There can be victory here for this king of swords energy, but it would require for this person to really do that soul searching and realize here that with this fool energy, you know, the fool doesn't pull up with a moving truck. The, the fool likes to travel, bounces here, bounces there, very irresponsible. The fool does not think before he acts as, you know, in the traditional rider weight, the fool is about to jump off a cliff and not even pay attention you know this is someone here that needs to start paying attention um the king of swords on the upright is the man with the plan so this is somebody that needs to literally start strategizing their day and what they want in their life and this connection and you know they, they need to start thinking before the act the king of swords does not ever 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 say something or do something without having thought about it first so i feel like you know this person is is on their last um it, it's this person's last chance to get it right okay tell me about the outcome here for taurus we've got the knight of pentacles in the reverse capricorn taurus virgo energy we have the four of swords and we've got the nine of cups okay so i feel and then we've got the two of swords under the deck with the devil and the empress and the four of wands okay so taurus there is somebody here that's at empress level there is somebody here that brings a lot to the table we've got empress queen of pentacles queen of cups four of wands this has the ability to be a very beautiful you know it could be a soul tie it could be that you guys are twin flames triggering each other with that four of wands the 1111 card this does have the potential to be something amazing the problem here is with the two of swords and the devil this empress knows what he or she has to offer we don't read gender in tarot okay this emperor or empress knows what they have to offer and with that two of swords now they're not going to let the devil in they're not going to let the toxicity in to destroy what they have built. It's not going to happen. So the guard is up for real this time. All right. Um, two of Wands, someone here has to make a choice. They have to make a choice. Um, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse with the Four of Swords. I feel here that someone is having trouble forgiving. Someone here is in a place where they're trying their best that they can to heal from everything that has happened happened but with the knight of pentacles in the reverse someone here is having a hard time believing what's being said believing that someone has the ability to be stable believing that someone is truly sorry okay um i feel like someone here with the nine of cups is offering wish fulfillment they are saying listen i'll do whatever i can to make you happy and to make this right but i feel like you know the, the person that's hurt isn't truly absorbing it um they're willing to give this a chance but if one more thing happens here, I feel like this person's gone. They can, they physically can, they physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, financially cannot take any more pain in this connection. Okay. All right, guys, I love you and take care and I'll see you soon. Bye, my loves.